Praise the Lord, family, and greetings from Disciple Ministries located in Radcliffe, Kentucky. We pray you receive this message in good health and in perfect peace. Our food from a raven this week is, I am his. And our text is taken from John, the 14th chapter, verses 12 and 26. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Verse 26, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Now, to get a good understanding of this particular scripture, you will have to read it in its entirety. But I want to try to give you a little bit. Amen. <laughs> All right. In the past, I found myself from time to time looking in the mirror and saying, what's wrong with me? Why is it that I'm not seeing the promises, the power of God being manifested in my life or ministry? As those questions rolled through my mind, I clearly heard the Lord say that there's a human need to be validated by others. Immediately, I began to search myself and see what is it about me that needs someone else to agree with me or prevented me from seeing my full potential. It boiled down to something so simple that I would have never imagined or stumbled on by myself. And because after all, I'm a Christian and a leader, right? <laughs> yeah, right. But God said that this cause is unbelief. And what has happened in the body of Christ is that we've loaned a spiritual mindset over to a carnal one. What are you saying, Apostle? I'm saying that the Bible clearly tells us to believe. Satan continued to laugh at God since the fall of man. And in the fact that even today, us as Christians, we don't believe. Jesus said, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. It boils down to believing in him and nothing to do with if man agrees with me or even me agreeing with myself. It doesn't change the fact that it's available if I believe. I am his. I allow those things, those thoughts, to clutter my mind and think myself insignificant or powerless based on what I thought or saw. That's unbelief, for we walk by faith and not by sight. By no means am I saying that we don't need each other. I'm simply saying the Holy Spirit has a purpose to empower us to be all God has called us to be, and it doesn't hinge on someone else's validation, and the only limit is our own unbelief. I dare us to get this under our belt and declare that I believe I am his, and under the unction of the Holy Ghost, I will do the works and even greater works, for he lives in me and has gone to the Father on my behalf. And it's he that's working through me. I am his. Apostle Chauncey Craig at Discipling Ministries, where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I love you and praying with you.